Cause nobody likes to leave ponies on the table. Gotta go and get those table ponies for you. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't know that about myself. I'm a good ass singer. I believe I can fly. It is Saturday morning, and I got a phone call from a guy named Brian. His last name is Thule. And we said, Logan, get your ass to the shop. We're going to do a blend valve job on your heads, and we're going to soften those chambers. And I was like, Brian, I hardly know you. But for real, this man has so many better things he could be doing this morning. don't want to disturb a Brian Tooley when he's working on cylinder heads. The number one rule when it comes to dealing with Brian Tooleys is you never interrupt them when they're working, okay? You ever seen a honey badger and you take its food away and see what happens? Yeah. Brian's more of the, you know, do the cylinder head stuff guy and I'm more of the vacuum up the chips out of the head milling machine guy, which is fine. You got to know your role, which is important in business. Just know where you, where you fall. He'll, uh, one day he'll be able to use the vacuum, but no time soon. So Brian's cooking on the cylinder heads. I have to do a trunnion kit install, and then I have to clean and assemble those cylinder heads, which is super fun. So another one of the changes that I'm making to the setup is not only the cylinder heads, but I'm going to a Johnson short travel lifter, um, something that'll handle the boost a little bit better. And again, these are in stock at BTR if you need a set of Johnson lifters. We are on our way home. We got cylinder heads. We got Johnson lifters. We got a trunnion kit installed. We got Brian Tooley racing valve train installed. It's a very exciting time. Very excited. I'm an excitable person already and this just brings the excitement to a new level. And uh, we're gonna kill some table ponies, hopefully. Step number one in putting cylinder heads back on your LS motor is go purchase a block resurfacing tool. They're very expensive, so buckle up. And there we go. Your block resurfacing tool. First thing we're gonna do is back all these head studs out of the block so we have a flat surface to work with. And then we'll take our razor blade and we'll get all the gasket material that's left over off the surface. If you have head bolts, then you have nothing to worry about. You have no studs to pull out, so you can just go to town. Be careful with the razor blade. Don't let it dig into the side of the aluminum or anywhere on the deck surface. You don't want it to knurl up or leave any uh, high or low spots for that head to bolt down to. And this is what we're putting on. A set of Trick Flow 245s, six bolt casting. Just planning for the future when I grenade that one. We got new rail stands. We got BTR LS9 head gaskets. Little trick tip for you, the BTR LS9 gaskets are the exact same as OEM GM gaskets, the same manufacturer makes them. And then obviously BTR trunnion kit already installed. A set of Johnson lifters, the 2116 LSR short travel. We keep those in stock as well, but all of this is going all up in here. Go ahead and pop these 10 millimeter lifter tray bolts out on both sides. Pull the LS7 lifters out. Meanwhile, I'll let the Johnson lifters soak in oil. And after soaking for about an hour, I'll pop those suckers in. Head gaskets are on, lifters are in. It's time to slap a couple heads on this piece.
I'm not a director, I'm not a professional, but I'll tell you that scene that you just watched, that was gold. All right, heads are on the motor. They're not torqued down yet. When you torque your cylinder head, when you torque your cylinder heads down, follow the factory service manual and only the factory service manual. If you have ARP head bolts or ARP head studs, or if you have stock OEM hardware, each one of those will require a different amount of foot poundage in terms of tightness. So follow the respective manufacturer's instructions in terms of how tight to make your bolts. Other than that, the rest of this is reverse of pulling the stuff apart. I'm sure you guys don't wanna watch me bolt headers up and a turbo up. So until next time, subscribe to my YouTube, please. It's just, just, you know, it makes me feel good when you do that. Have a blessed day.